Well, guys, I finally got down here. Been down here. Got a lot of this stuff bush hogged out. Uh, got tractor hung up over there. <sighs> got the hive stand set up. I'm going to try this configuration right here first. See how I like it. <sighs> We're running level this way and tilted at a slight decline that way. Oh, man, you guys, what a mess this place was. Nothing but tree stumps and a briar thicket, just right like that. This down here hadn't been really touched in probably 15 years. Yeah, I buried that tractor right here. But my neighbor, cousin up the road, he got us pulled out in a big four-wheel drive tractor. So, yeah, I also buried it there. But I was able to get out of that one. I think this little spot down here probably be a pretty good place for some bees. I've got me a swarm trap hanging there. Little, there's a little stream runs right down through here. Goes way, way out in the woods for about, I don't know, two and a half miles probably. I've lived on this property all my life. I know every square inch of those woods back in there all the way around. There's one of my old deer stands right there. I built that when I was in high school. I used to weld gates uh, when I was in school and they gave me a bunch of scrap tube and I brought it home and built me a ladder stand. I can't believe that wood hasn't rotted out. I don't think I would uh, trust it to sit on it, but heck, when do I even have time to get to hunt or fish anymore? <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use my corkscrew anchors like I always did and I'll just screw them things wherever I've got a hive setting I'm kind of debating on putting a maybe a 2 before or something here and use that to strap the hives down with but I want all this stuff anchored down because I get really terrible wind here. But yeah, that's that's what I got going on. I kind of just wanted to show you guys the new bee yard. I guess we'll consider it a bee yard. I'm, I'm going to start the nukes and stuff down here. But I'll probably just let them grow and let them sit here. My, my main goal for this whole area was to put all the queenless colonies down here kind of way a little bit away from my parents house i think i'll have a better chance of those queens coming back from mating flights because i had an awful time last year who knows i'm not really sure what caused it but i just know it was it was terrible <sighs> still got some cleanup to do and it's a bit of a disaster right now. But, in my opinion, it's I'm going to put bees on it. It's good enough for them. It's good enough for me. I hope you guys had a good day at work or at home, whatever you've been doing throughout the day. Maybe in the bees. Maybe you was lucky enough to get the full with the, the ladies today. But I'll hop off here. I still got some more things to do. Uh... I appreciate all you guys subscribing. Uh, I never would have thought that I'd have had this many subscribers on the channel. It's it's really blown up this year already. Can't thank you enough. I really do appreciate it. If you've 
not subscribed and you'd like to see any future videos coming out just scroll down there hit that subscribe button give the video a like if you liked it until then i will catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching